Welcome back to Discovery with Miss Natalie. That's me. I hope you had a wonderful Monday and I can't wait for our next story. So the story we're going to read today is called The Little Engine That Could. This is one of my favorite stories of all time. I read it when I was little. I love reading it to all of my fun little preschoolers. So I hope you enjoy it as well. So this story was written by Wadi Piper, and all of the pictures were drawn by Lauren Long. So let's go ahead and see what this little engine gets up to today. The Little Engine That Could, written by Wadi Piper and illustrated by Lauren Long. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls. Dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls would want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners, and peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all of these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed merrily along. Then, all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk she simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? I don't know. Let's find out what she does. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So all of the dolls and toys cried out together, Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. Ooh, this train is not a very nice train. He doesn't want to help them at all. And off he steamed to the roundhouse, where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big, strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. 
these engines are just not very nice to this poor little engine who was just trying to help the little boys and girls. And the freight engine puffed on indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very sad and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But then the little clown called out, here is another train coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. Do you think she's gonna help? That'd be very nice of her if she did. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They used me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain, but we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the doys, dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes, and she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and she hitched herself to the little train. Do you think she's going to be able to do it? I think so, but let's find out if she can help this train get over the mountain. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped all aboard and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Can you help the little blue engine? Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to say, I think I can, okay? And we're gonna keep saying it, ready? I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster, the little engine climbed. Until at last, they reached the top of the mountain. They made it all the way up there just because they tried their very best and they told themselves that they could. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray! Hooray! cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountains, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. The end. Did you like this story? This story is such a good story because it just lets you know and reminds you that even though sometimes things are a little hard or they may be challenging and you don't think that you can do it, all you gotta do is tell yourself that I think I can and try your very, very best and you'll be able to do whatever you want to do, okay? So 
I hope you enjoyed this story and come back later again this afternoon because we're going to do a fun project with train cars. Alrighty, so have a great rest of your morning and I can't wait to see you back again later. Bye!